All right then gang, so we've made four different layouts now using CSS Grid. The last thing I wanna show you is how to make a simple 12 column grid system, a bit like something you'd get with Bootstrap. But ours is gonna be a really stripped back version, back to basics, so that we just have a simple grid with however many rows as you like and 12 columns to distribute your content onto. Now, a lot of developers and designers use a 12 column grid to design and develop websites. So it's always a nice tool to have in your belt and CSS Grid makes it really, really easy to implement. So we'll be making a 12 column grid and then just using it to quickly prototype a simple design like this right here. So each of these sections in the layout is using that 12 column grid, the nav bar, the main content, and then these services as well down here, these little cards. And you could add more content if you wanted to on additional rows and distribute that content however you wish across all the columns. So let's jump into the code and see how to make it. So then you wanna be working inside the 612 call folder right here. And again, like always, we have an index.html with nothing in it except a link to this style sheet, styles.css. And inside that, we just load in the Google font. We strip out the margin from the body, give it a font family of poppins and set the background to be this very light gray color. So it just looks like this blank canvas to begin with, all right? So same as always, we're gonna start with the index.html to make the HTML template. Now, I said before, we're gonna use that grid in two different places. The header is gonna have a grid inside it and also the main content. So let's do the header first of all. Now I'm gonna give this a class equal to grid. And also we're gonna have a main over here with a class of grid as well. So these are the two places we're gonna use this class. So we have a 12 column grid in both areas. Now I'm just gonna quickly create that class inside the styles.css first of all. So let's say down here grid, and we wanna make this a grid. So we say display grid, and it needs to have 12 columns. Let's spell this correctly for a start. Don't know what is wrong with my typing. Okay, so we want this to have 12 columns, right? And they're all gonna be one fraction in width, all the same width. So let's say grid hyphen template hyphen columns like so. And we're gonna use the repeat function because I don't wanna type something out 12 times. So 12 columns and they're all gonna be one fraction. And also we're gonna give this a gap property of 30 pixels. So between every row and every column, there's a 30 pixel gap or gutter, all right? And that's all there is to it in terms of actually creating the structure of this grid. And now, since we're applying this class to both of these, these are now those 12 column grids and we can just place content inside here and distribute it in those 12 columns, right? And that's what we're gonna do. So to begin with inside the header, I want a title on the left, an H1, and then a nav with some links on the right. So we're gonna do an H1 first of all, and that's gonna say 12 call grid, that's the title. Then under that, we're gonna do a nav, and inside that we'll do an anchor tag. Doesn't matter where it goes to, but this is gonna say home, and we're gonna do that two more times. The second one can be about, and the third one can be contact. All right. And that's all we need inside the header. So we have two grid items, this and the nav. Now inside the main, we have a bit more content. Now for the first section inside the main, I'd like an image on the left and then some welcome text on the right. So they're both essentially gonna take up six columns in width, right? Now the image I'm gonna use is gonna be from a website called Phil Murray. So let's see what that looks like. I'm just gonna paste this website address in right here, Phil Murray, and you can see you basically get a load of different images of different sizes. Now, if you want a specific size, for example, 700 by 400, I can say forward slash 700 and forward slash 400, and that gets us this image right here, and that's the image we're gonna use. So I'm gonna copy that and go back to our site, and I'm gonna do an image tag, paste in that URL, and sometimes, by the way, it gives you a different image. It's not always the same one. And the image alt is gonna be Bill Murray. Awesome. All right, so hopefully you all know who that is, by the way, the younger generation, great actor. Either way, that's the first item 
first grid item and later we're going to style it so it takes up six columns of width remember automatically it's going to be placed in just one column but we'll style it to take up six columns of width later all right so the second grid item is going to be a div with a class of welcome just so we can style it and inside that we'll do an h2 and that will just say welcome like so and then under that we're going to do a paragraph tag with a load of lorem ipsum so i'm just going to copy this paragraph tag from my repo like so all right so that's all there is inside this div that's the second grid item again automatically it will take up one column but later we'll set it to take up six columns in width so we'll have this on the left and this on the right and then obviously it's going to go to the next row okay so down here we're going to have an h2 and this is also a grid item we'll say services it's a title for the next section and this thing right here what we'll say is we want it to take up the full width so it's going to span 12 columns in width and then again it's going to go to the next row and on that next row i want three different cards three items so let's say div and give each one of these a class of card and inside that we'll just do an h3 that says something like hello and then below that we'll do a couple of paragraph tags so i'll say p and then lorem 10 and i'll duplicate that so we have two paragraph tags and then i'm going to grab all of this and paste in another twice so now we have these three cards right here okay now when i save this and preview it's not going to look great because they're all just getting assigned these one single columns so now what we need to do is style up these individual grid items so we say for example this can take up six columns in width and this six or maybe this four and this eight doesn't really matter and then down here this six and this six etc so let's head to the styles.css file to do all that so i'm going to start off with the header tag and remember this is a grid because we gave it a class of grid now what i'm going to do in here is just say the padding is going to be 20 pixels top and bottom 40 pixels left and right just to give it some inner spacing the background is going to be white which is fff and that just means that it's going to stand out from the gray background of the body now also in here we want to align the items a little bit to the center because if we take a look at the minute in fact we'll come back to that because it will be more clear why we want to do it later for now let us also style the h1 and the nav inside the header these are the grid items so we'll say header h1 first of all and we want it to take up six columns in width so we'll say grid hyphen column and it's going to be span six that's all we need to do and now it takes up the first six columns in width and it pushes this to the next column along all right so even though the text is only taking up a little bit of the space the actual h1 element is taking up the whole six columns of width awesome so after that we want to style the nav so header nav like so and we say grid hyphen column and we can say we wanted to start at the seventh uh, column if you like and then we want to span six so if i save that and preview then you can see now it starts over here and it's going to span all this space now what we also want to do is move all of these things to the end over here and remember we can use justify content to justify the entire content of the grid or we can use justify self to just justify this one grid item and that's what we want to do so i can say justify self and it's going to be end and that's going to go all the way to the right now awesome now if i wanted to by the way i could take off this seven thing right here because it's automatically going to start at the next available column so i could just have span six like that and it's going to do exactly the same thing i just wanted to show you that we could be explicit if we wanted to all right so the other thing i wanted to do is align the items so that this comes down to be the same level as this and we do that on grid level so i can come up to the header itself which is a grid and i can say align items to the center save that and it's going to bring them down so everything's in the center vertically all right looking a bit better now i just want to style the anchor tags over here a little bit because they don't look great so let me say header nav anchor and then inside the color is going to be 333 which is a dark gray uh, we want a margin left of each of those links and it's going to be 10 pixels just to spread them out and then finally the text decoration is going to be none 
And then I think this is the header pretty much done for now. Yep, looking pretty good. Awesome. So now we can move on to the main content down here. Now at the minute, everything's just sitting in a single column and we don't want that. And also these cards don't look great, etc. We're gonna style all that now. So let's move over here. And the first thing we wanna do is grab that main tag. And we wanna say the max width of this is gonna be 1200 pixels. Also the margin, top and bottom is 60 pixels. Left and right is gonna be auto like so. And then the padding, just to give it some inner space is 20 pixels. All right. So now what I want to do is make it so that the image takes up six columns of width and it sits on the left. So we'll say main image and we want to say grid hyphen column and it's going to span six columns in width. And also the width of the image is going to take up 100% of those six columns rather than its original size. Border radius of the image is gonna be six pixels as well, just to soften the corners. And yep, there we go. Now we can see this image is taking up the left side of the page, right? Now, what I'm also gonna do is come down here and grab the welcome div, which is, if we come down here, this, and I want that to span six columns on the right as well. So let me say main and then dot welcome. And we want it to span, in fact, yeah, let's say span six, first of all. Let's say grid column, and it's gonna span six, all right? Now then, at the minute, all the text is just in this little section, and that doesn't look quite right. So let's see if something's gone wrong. Okay, this shouldn't be Spain, it should be span, so save that. Okay, looks better. All right, so next what I'd like to do is maybe actually move this over one more grid. So we can leave a spare grid just to give it a bit more space between the image and the text. So what I could do is say, okay, well this spans six, right? And automatically this is starting in the seventh column. But what if I want it to start in the eighth column? Well, we could do that, but it can't span six this time. It has to span five because now we have a spare column on the left. And now we should have a column here that's not taking up anything nothing's assigned to it, but then we have this for the rest of the columns on the right. And to me, that looks a little bit better, okay? All right, so what I wanna do now is move down to this services section down here. So we have this H2, I think it is, and that needs to take up all the columns and sit in the middle, and then we have the three cards underneath that. So let us say main, and then the H2 directly inside that, and the grid hyphen column property is going to be span, 12 so it spans all 12 columns so if i save that and preview we can see something's gone wrong again okay i've deleted that somehow so let's say span five save that again yep okay yep we can see now this takes up all of the columns in width however i want it to be centrally aligned and to do that we can just say text align is center like so also the font size is going to be 1.5 m's and the padding top is gonna be about 20 pixels, just to bring it down a little bit. Okay, it looks pretty good. So now we just need to style the cards at the bottom. So down here, we can say main, then dot card, that was the class. And we're gonna say grid hyphen column. Now we wanted to take up a third each, right? We have 12 columns, so each card can take up four columns in width because four plus four plus four is 12, all right? So each card is gonna have a grid column property, which will be span four, to span four columns. The background of each card is gonna be white, so FFF. The padding of each card is gonna be 10 pixels top and bottom, 20 pixels left and right. The border radius will be six pixels to soften the corners. And then also we'll give each one a box shadow just to give it a bit of depth. That's gonna be three pixels, three pixels, three pixels. RGBA for the color of the shadow so we can give it an alpha channel, a bit of transparency. It's gonna be black and then 0 0.05. So very faint shadow. Save that and preview. And that is looking pretty good, awesome. That was really simple to make that 12 column grid system and distribute our content onto it, very quick. So 
looks good on desktop, but for mobile screens, less good. So what you can do is add media queries if you wanted to, to redistribute this content at different widths. And that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna start at roughly 960 pixels. So let me just open this up. And 960 pixels is mm, about here this kind of width. So at that point, it's looking a bit squashed and we can redistribute the content on that 12 column grid system. So let's do that. Let's head back to the styles.css and add in our media queries. So we're gonna say at media and screen and max hyphen width is gonna be 960 pixels. And then for that width and lower, we're going to take the image first of all at the top, so main image. Now at the minute that's taken up six columns, if we take a look here, six columns of width. And what we want to do is make it so the grid hyphen column property says, all right, I want you to start at column two. So skip the first one and go in one, yeah? And then I want you to span 10 columns in width. And that means it's gonna take up the middle 10 columns. It's skipping one to begin with, and there's gonna be one left over at the end on the right. So if I save this now, we can see at smaller screens that we have this image right here. It's not quite taking up the full width because we have a column on the left and right that's empty, but that's looking pretty nice. All right, so next up, let's do this welcome text. So main and then dot welcome and right here we're going to say grid hyphen column and we're going to start at column three this time so the first two columns are empty and we're going to span eight columns so it's taking up eight columns in width meaning there's four left over because eight plus four is twelve the first two are on the left because we skip the first two and start at three and there's going to be two left over on the right but also i want to say text align center so let's take a look at this yep looking pretty good all right, so now let's go down to the cards. We'll say main and then dot card like so. And we'll say grid hyphen column. And it's gonna start at three and it's gonna span eight, much like the welcome text, like so. Save that. And we can see they take up the pretty much full width now. And on smaller screens, that looks nice as well. Awesome. So all this is looking pretty good. Very simple to do that 12 column grid system. And this is really good for knocking up websites really quickly, just prototyping simple websites. So then my friends, I really, really hope you enjoyed this series and you learned something along the way. If you did, please, please, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot. And if you want to access all of my YouTube courses without adverts, also get access to premium courses and early access courses as well, you can do at netninja.dev. You can sign up for NetNinja Pro, which is just $9 a month and also half price for the first month with this promo code right here and for that like i said you get access to every course without adverts without youtube adverts you also get access to exclusive courses not found anywhere else you get access to my premium courses on udemy and also early access to all of my youtube courses as well so the link to this page to sign up is going to be down below again i really hope you enjoyed this series and i'm going to see you in the very next one